Hello. So, right now I imported the images. So, okay, right now I imported the images into GIMP. And I'm resizing my head after I selected it so that it matches up with the size of the other image that I was comparing it to. Now I am selecting a place to crop. I'm trying to cut my head out of the image so that I can make it transparent. I'm carefully doing this so that it would look nice. I've got to go all the way around the head. I zoom in and out by holding control on the keyboard and rolling my mouse wheel. And I roll side to side by holding shift and rolling the mouse wheel. Now I edit and cut it and out I try Select and selection from path and then I pasted it onto a new layer. I made a new layer transparent and then I saved it. Now I'm opening up Crazy Talk Animator. I selected the face icon and I imported my transparent facial image. I am putting the feature points on my face and I clicked next. Then I'm lining up all of the feature points the best that I can. I'm going to preview it before I'm done to make sure I got it right. I unselected mirror just then so that I could adjust one side without it automatically making the same adjustment to the other. I click on the blue line to turn it red so that I can drag the group of feature points around. Trying to get everything right by selecting all of the adjustment points. Now I'm adjusting before my hairline. To make sure that fits well is also. Now I'm just in the outer hairline in the ears. Now I'm doing a test on it on the mouth. But it has no teeth right now. Plus I made a small adjustment to the lip just then because I didn't like how it looked. Now I selected the teeth and you can play with that X scale to make it shorter horizontal or wider horizontal and a Y scale to make it taller vertically or not and then the brightness to contrast the hue and the saturation to get it looking the shade that you want. And I tested it out again now it looks a lot better. 
I decided to make the teeth a little bit longer. And then I decided to make them a little bit shorter again because I thought they were too long. Now I selected the eyelid test. Now up there in, I just clicked the advanced points so it gave me more points to work with so I could adjust it better on the feature points. And I'm getting it as close as I can trying to make it look good. And I keep doing tests on it. You know, I'm doing the head movement test. Then the emotional test. <laughs> so I went to actual and head type and I selected odd head. And then I added my head still. Then I went to the body tab and select a body. And you can also just select the actual first and pick a character. Then go to the head tab and then bring up your custom head from the custom tab. So that works as well. And you can choose a background from the scene. Or you can drag in your own background or drag in a movie as a background. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to save your project. And here I'm sent my character onto the prop and testing it out with my voice file. Yep, that's it.